First of all, I'd just like to do a disclaimer. I'm not a trained vet, I'm not a trained animal expert. These are just observations that I've made and take them for what you will. I think the three keys to creating a satisfying relationship with any animal are understanding, honour and respect. Number one is understanding. You need to understand their innate or primal programming, the essence of what they are. And with rabbits, this would be that they are prey animals. Number two is honour. You need to honour who they are. And don't expect things from them that isn't a part of who they are. Rabbits aren't going to roll over for belly rubs because they aren't dogs. Um, so don't expect them to be dogs. If you want dog behaviour, you're better off getting a dog. Number three is respect. Respect their unique preferences and needs. Even if you want to pick up your rabbit and cuddle it, if they don't like it, then don't do it. They are autonomous beings and they deserve respect. The key to any relationship with any person or animal is interacting with them in a way they understand. You may think that picking up your bunny and cuddling with it is letting them know that you love them, but if they don't perceive it as love, it's a misguided action. You need to show them love in a way they understand. That is why understanding is the first key to building a successful and deep relationship with your rabbit. Since childhood, I've always observed the way animals interact with others of their same species uh, and mimicked these actions when interacting with them. These non-verbal ways of communicating vary greatly between species, so you must understand the individual species and their specific ways of communicating. Don't use cat communication with a rabbit, for example, because it just won't work. To a rabbit, gazing, unblinking at each other is a way of communicating fondness and love. But if you do this to a cat, they're likely to attack you because that's the way that they challenge each other and are hostile to each other. Now, if you haven't got the situation where you can observe rabbits together, you should research all about rabbits um, and their behaviour on the internet. There's plenty of sites and, and plenty of uh, ways that you can find out through the internet. The link that I'm putting on the screen now is a fantastic site on understanding rabbit communication that I absolutely love. I found it so, so useful when I first got rabbits and I highly recommend you check it out. Now the most important thing to realise about rabbits is that they are prey animals. And what's that, what that means is that they are the hunted, the food source for many bigger meat-eating animals. And with no real way of defending themselves against the hunter, they are primarily programmed to stay close to the ground, to be flighty when faced with unfamiliar creatures, situations or noises. And although domesticated rabbits living indoors do not need to worry about this anymore, their primal instincts are still strong and this is a really important thing to understand. Also, as they have no voice, attempts of communicating can be overlooked and misunderstood. They in fact have super complex nonverbal ways of communicating, some of which can be so subtle that if you're not tuned into the way of the rabbit, you can be, they can be totally overlooked by humans, creating a huge void of understanding between you and your pet. This is why understanding is such an important first step to creating a positive relationship with your bunny. Now once the three key points mentioned in this video are addressed, then follows trust. And trust is the foundation of any successful relationship. You can't experience being truly connected with your pet unless they trust you. With trust comes confidence, which gives way to security, which in turn breeds happiness, love and satisfaction of being, which is something we should all strive to obtain for our pets. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see further videos on rabbit communication and how to understand your bunny, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.